What's up? Welcome in a new vlog. I think that I should say because this is the first time I'm actually talking to you. Yeah, I'm in the office. Um, I don't know if you remember, but there were a lot of Funko Pops there. Um, so they're not there anymore. This is actually my sister's old room. So she's not living here anymore. It's been like since February, I believe, but whatever. So uh, that became Mooney's bed and I took like a corner of the room to make my uh, office kind of work kind of work kind of thing because I'm remote you know working from home because of the current situation whatever that's gonna change or whatever because when I'm gonna reorganize my bookshelves in my room which is the room next to it whatever I'm gonna put things here and remove some of the stuff uh, she got here um, here you can also see some of the stuff uh, some of her stuff and some of mine or whatever. I will reorganize everything. But if you've watched my uh, previous vlogs, you know that the desk was actually here, but I moved it there. So I have like the light on my face. So people I'm talking to uh, with, um, you know, um, the thingy here, computer at work, whatever, can see me better. And you can see me better actually as well, so I don't have to play with the dark, whatever. But let me put you down. <laughs> okay, so this is so weird to actually vlog from there, whatever. Uh, I really hate that color on the walls, uh, but this is how it is. That's why I covered it with something green, and here it's gray or whatever, because I prefer the green to that color. I'm sorry if you love that color. I love that color on some things, but not on walls. Not because of my aesthetic. It doesn't go well together. Whatever. Um, so I wanted to start this vlog because it's actually Tuesday. I'm taking a little break um, here. I'm still working. Um, I haven't read anything yesterday, I haven't read anything today yet, yet, because I'm planning on reading um, Trinity of Bones, whatever, because I have until tomorrow actually to finish it. And also uh, The Train to Impossible Places, I have, I think, 10 chapters left of that book, uh, even maybe a bit less, whatever. But I'm enjoying it, it's a fun read, it's not like wow or whatever uh, for me, but I kind of like it, so that's good. And for Trinity of Bones, I'm really, really into it. So I'm happy. So I finished editing and uploading the vlog. It's gonna be like Tuesday vlog with Sasha because I don't know how people do that. Like how they finish the vlog on Sunday night and then upload it on Monday night after editing the vlog, uh, uploading it, doing 
the thing, description, whatever, the caption, because I'm adding captions uh, to all my videos and doing the thumbnail, whatever, with work. So maybe they are organized and edit the vlog throughout the, the week, whatever. I'm not doing that, so I maybe suck, whatever. But I just can't, like, I cannot start something and not finish it. Like, I don't like to work bits of it or whatever. I could, like, for instance, edit three vlogs and then work on three thumbnails or whatever, but I cannot, like, start editing, then stop, then start, then stop, then stop, whatever. This is just me. I don't know why I'm telling you that. And I had a little breakdown during the vlog. I... It took me a while to actually accept it and not cut it from the vlog and I wanted to say I'm sorry but at the same time I'm not sorry for feeling bad sometimes and to be sad or whatever. I still am sad and not that good but it's gonna be okay, right? We're gonna make everything good. Everything is gonna be alright at one point. So yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, Wolves, and I'm so freaking sorry if... I hope that didn't trigger you and that I didn't, like, hurt you or whatever. Um, I really am sorry if that's the case. Um, but let's make this vlog a little bit happier. <laughs> Especially because my mom went grocery shopping with my grandma and she got me this she saw that uh it had a weird shape or whatever and that i would love it so i got that and it's on my desk it's gonna be perfect for some videos uh for some photos not videos and it's on my desk i know it feels like so weird but it's halloween i mean it's spooky month it's october the best month of the year so yeah i'm having like i, I love seeing it on my desk never mind but i got a book here i know exactly what it is it's from uh, waterstones this is the sequel to uh, frost heart and let me show you the spread edges oh my god it's to die for my gosh here is the covers the first one was uh let me pick the first one Okay, so this is the first one uh, and this is the sequel. It's actually quite similar and I really love it. Like it's completely different, but at the same time it's similar because same font, same like round here, but lower here and smaller with other characters. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But this one came like this because I think I got it from... I cannot remember from where, but it wasn't from Waterstones, I feel, and this one is from Waterstones. And actually, the people who got it on Waterstones have the blue spread edges here, and here I got the green one. I think these are the most beautiful spread edges I have ever seen. It's gorgeous. <sighs> I cannot wait to read it and it has cute little illustrations in it. I really loved it. I mean, here it's the same different color. Inside it's like, can you see? It's just beautiful. It's an amazing book. I really love it. It's a middle grade uh, polar fantasy actually. And uh, I really loved the family aspect of it, like he got adopted by a yeti and the yeti is taking care of him because he has actually some kind of power that people uh, don't think is wise to have and I think it's dangerous to have. So he got adopted by a yeti but a yeti is not human so, so it kind of makes him feel bad for being adopted by a yeti and uh, the family he used to be with etc because his parents actually disappeared uh some time ago they went on an exploration and never got back and actually he has a power can i say which one it is mm, maybe not but he has a power so as i said that everyone is like scared of and one day he almost used it so people realized that he had that power. Just imagine a bunch of islands in the middle of nowhere separated by icy water, let's say, because it's like winter heavy. And uh, one day there's gonna be a boat reaching their village. And uh, apparently, even if 
his people are scared of the power he has. It might not be scary for others. So he's going to join that crew to go on adventures and to maybe feel better with himself and to find his own place, home, etc. And it was absolutely beautiful. I gave it five stars. So I truly cannot wait to read that one uh, but I think it should be smarter of me to actually keep it for November for the believe -a -thon. because if I read all my middle grade books I'm gonna have to buy more middle grade books uh, for that read -a -thon. so uh, not that it is a bad thing or whatever but as I'm playing the wild TBR I still haven't filmed the video so I don't know what I'm gonna get if I'm gonna be able to fit as many of the middle grades I want to get to this month or whatever or not but I think that I will see I will see what's gonna go with the game and then do things uh, accordingly so Beautiful. I really wish I had the blue spread edges. But yeah, that's it for now. I just wanted to uh, start the vlog because, um, you know, you you want me to talk a little bit in my vlogs? Or maybe I could do like just a vlog of things. Oh, that's an idea actually. But yeah, hope you get it, Wolves, and I will talk to you a bit later. Well, um, I filmed this morning, very early in the morning, three videos, uh, my wrap up, my uh, book haul and uh, the first wild TBR, TBR video. I already failed, <laughs> like because you guys see the video, I'm going to try to edit it today and upload it today, so it will be linked up there and down below, but I could I think of a book that I needed to read like for a specific prompt and I cannot remember which book I named and then I was like okay Sasha from the future I'm actually not gonna read that book I'm gonna read that other book or whatever and I got prompts like of course I was planning on uh, reading six books actually or at least to have six books from that TBR I got seven because double digit and also I got a prompt with a book over 500 pages so it couldn't start the worst way so yeah I just wanted to update you on that and I have something in my eye I'm gonna take off that makeup and my lenses uh, but yeah so necklace from Proline Muniton if you want a discount the link is down below and this is a shirt I got from Evenlight even light I'm still not sure I should actually ask them or listen to something but I really love it it's very very so I am touching my boobs I'm not touching my boobs I just like it's soft and I love the the are here so yeah um, I'm gonna clean that because I feel like it's too much for work uh, but yeah and then um, my coffee here and um, there is a problem with uh, Facebook studio creator studio that I used to um, actually schedule my post or whatever but it doesn't want to it didn't post anything this morning and I tried to check what was going on. It doesn't want to post anything, nothing appears, but I swear I did things. So I don't know what's gonna happen, what I'm gonna do, but yeah. I hope you go to well, well talk to you later. Hello Wolves, what's up? I feel like it's been a while since I talked to you. Can you hear me with the open window? Let me close the window. Yeah, I think it's gonna be better. Um, I don't know what I was supposed to say. I was supposed to say something. I already forgot. I have coffee here uh, that's gonna cool down when I can eat my salad. Yes, I'm eating a salad. It's that kind of um, salad bar, whatever. You go in the shop, like in the grocery shopping, whatever, grocery shop, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Carrefour Express, actually. And you can, you pick the ball and you can pick whatever you want to put in and then you pay uh, according to the weight of it. First time doing this, I mean it was fresh, not a lot of choices to be honest but as it is new I think they're just trying to see if it's gonna work and if it works they're gonna offer more options or whatever. But for this it's quite big, I have to be honest because I took a big salad and I took like tomatoes and falafels so heavy stuff as well. I paid 6.50 so 6 euros 50 I think it's 
super expensive for a salad that has nothing special in it but this is actually the first time i buying myself food like on the go since january i think so yeah that's okay <laughs> but yeah nothing really uh new yesterday i was wondering if i should do like vlogtober uh, whatever but there is no way i'm gonna commit to that so instead what i'm doing is actually uh inktober so the goal is actually to draw every single day and you have a list of prompts etc and it's really cool because it actually allows you to push a bit yourself and if you're like me you draw but you never know what to draw it gives you a prompt every single day of October and I love it a lot and it's really random and you can do whatever you want with that prompt or whatever initially it was with ink so like drawing with ink or whatever but the creator of this is like yeah at the end of the day there is no inktober police as I keep saying there is no booktube police or whatever so you do you it's about your journey it's about your improvement it's about you pushing yourself so as long as you're having fun and even if you don't follow the prompts or whatever and you just draw randomly whatever you want on that day uh during like the whole month of uh october then it's fine you do you but yesterday the prompt was actually fish and i drew this oh i'm gonna show you this wait Will you be able to see? Yeah, so it is a nugget fish with a little pumpkin instead of the light or whatever. I don't know what you think of it. Do you like it? I like it. Like, I know I have to improve a lot the texture because there is not enough textures. I don't know if you can see, but I don't feel like there is enough texture for me. Like. You can see it has been drawn. It's not like, but I don't draw realistically, so it's fine. There is still some texture, but not enough, in my opinion. So I will try to improve that. And for today, the prompt is actually risp, risp, yeah. Uh, oh, rip, rip. Is it risp or rip? You know the little, like, uh, being like, like a flame, celestial being, or whatever. Uh, let me check, because wisp, not risp, wisp. Okay, we'll see. Uh, I think I'm gonna continue with the drawing I started yesterday. Yesterday I started like a wolf. So if you want to know something about me, you know that I love wolves, etc. And I want to draw wolves, but I'm never satisfied. Like I can draw whatever, I'm gonna be satisfied because it looks like okay enough, but with a wolf, it has to be perfect and it's never perfect so i never show you anything wolf related like drawing related because i'm never satisfied so i'm gonna try and to share it even if i'm not satisfied i don't know wolves they just have to be perfect for me so yeah i know it's stupid i know it's stupid but whatever and also can you see my hair like i don't know if you remember wolves but at one point, it was like in February or March or whatever. No, November, December, January. I cried because I was losing my hair so drastically uh, because of a harsh um, medication. And actually, you can see my baby hair here growing. These are all my baby hair. And when I do like my plates or whatever, you can actually see all my baby hair. But where are they? See? how they're short but yeah they're growing my hair is growing so i'm happy and relieved yeah but yeah i'm gonna eat my salad work and yeah i think that's it well so i will talk to you later i hope you good i haven't started any book but i finished uh you know that um trinity of bones that i gave five stars so yeah i will update you a bit later wolves
I really need a new tripod. This one is dying. Hello, wolves. This will be the last update for this week. I honestly, as usual, don't know what I said during the last update or whatever. I don't even know if I did update you on October, to be honest. I freaking don't know what I am, like, reading-wise, what I am at. Uh, so I started The Eldest by Christopher Paolini, so the sequel to uh, to Christopher, to Aragon. Um, I've read the first almost 200 pages, whatever, and that's the first part we will be reading, Ola and I, because we will continue video reading that series, so I'm super excited for it. And yes, yeah, so I've read uh, a fourth of the book, more or less, kind of thing. <sighs> I just love it as much as I did in my memories or whatever. And it's really like a comfort read. It's a reread, yes, but I feel like I'm not really rereading a book. I already told you that, but as it is in English, it is my first time rereading it uh, and in English. I feel like it's completely not completely, like it's kind of new to me, like I'm discovering things or words or whatever. I'm just really enjoying that reading in my like safe space or whatever. I'm really in love with the story. Then I've started Wolf uh, Island. Uh, this is a scientific book, so telling the journey of a guy. So he finished like his bachelor or whatever and he needs to graduate or no i think he's doing his phd or whatever or maybe it's gonna lead him to his phd he's still at school so i would say grad school whatever and he's like going to an island uh to study actually wolves and it's really i really love it because first it's scientific whatever and second it's really realistic because it really shows you how a study can be slow uh, because it's not because you're gonna study wolves that you're gonna be able to see wolves every single day it's not because you're gonna go on an island full of wolves or whatever that it's gonna be exciting every single day sometimes you will see nothing for months and just look for a scat or whatever to actually study what the wolves are eating or whatever without actually seeing them or whatever. So I really love that aspect of it. You don't really read much about wolves, even if I'm in that part where he got back to the island because it spread over like many, 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 many years actually. Um, and like he knows the wolves now, he knows the island, so he knows where to look. So we get a bit more about wolves, etc. But it's really like I can talk to you about everything because it's not spoilery, like it's not a story or whatever. But it's really like an old study uh, where they didn't know much about wolves, and I feel like we still don't know enough about wolves because we tend to say that there is an alpha and then betas and then you have the others and then you have the omegas who are like lone wolves um but here it's kind of different because there is one leading but it's not especially the same one every single time and then don't especially do what he's doing and you know in lots of documentaries you're gonna have the main like the alpha uh, wolf actually mating but not the others and actually here several couples are mating whatever so i feel like we have a lot of to learn from wolves and i'm really enjoying it um not much that i learned but i still feel like it's very interesting and going on that journey on that research field island whatever is really really interesting i'm really like eating the pages so i started it today this morning then we had a lot of stuff to do whatever and i've already read like 130 pages out of 200 so that's quite a lot i will probably finish it tomorrow which is good because i'm supposed to finish it before the release day which is october 13 but yeah i think it's gonna be a five stars or four stars but it's very or like very high four stars if it's a four stars because it's really realistic and believable and very interesting and I don't know I love that it is like true and not like a documentary where you're gonna see only the exciting parts and bits of the whole research uh, journey or 
trip or whatever of the people it's really telling you how slow research can be but how exciting it can be when you find answers uh, you were looking for or even answers you were not looking for so I'm really like into that but yeah that's pretty much it oh I know I'm gonna show you what I drew for Inktober I don't know if I told you that but I wanted to vlog every single day of October like a daily vlog or whatever and then I was like okay I tried last time for a vlogmas or whatever and it was just a mess like after two weeks I just get <laughs> gave up or whatever and I feel like I don't have enough freedom to actually show you my my life but in an interesting way every single day like I'm not living by myself or whatever so I will always get disturbed by other people and I don't want you to feel that. I want you to be like, if I want to film my life every single day, to upload a vlog every single day, I want you to be like in my life and not having to handle others, whatever. So instead I decided to actually do Inktober to challenge myself by drawing every single day. And it's not like random drawings or whatever, you have prompts. And I've been really enjoying it because as I said a few times, I'm not creative at all. I love drawing. If I get an idea, I will draw for hours or whatever about that theme, around that theme, around that whatever. But if I have no idea, I don't know what to draw, you know what I mean? And having like a prompt for every single day helps me being more creative, if that makes any sense. Helps me drawing around that theme, prompt, whatever, and develop maybe my creativity. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the first uh, prompt we had actually on October 1st was fish. So of course fish and being October and uh, the first day of the spooky month or whatever, I drew an uh, anglefish with a pumpkin as a light. I think I already showed you that, but I'm not sure, but here it is. <laughs> Let me know which one is your favorite, actually. So I will show you four because today is October 4th. Um, then the day after, it was Wisp. I already told you that because I was struggling. I was say Wisp instead of Wisp. But I drew this. Like, it took me a long time to uh, come up, actually, uh, with this one. So it's a wolf, elemental wolf kind of thing, and wisp is actually the flames or whatever. But I really had a hard time. Like I have so many versions of that wolf, of that wolf, of that wolf. I had also this one, and I was like really not happy with it. Uh, I wanted like the tail and the legs to be like detached from the body, but they really doesn't look that good. I need to work on it because it's an idea. But I need to work on it. And then we had bulky, so something huge or whatever. So I drew an orcas in a in bottle. So orcas, I don't know if you know that, but they're also called like um, killer whales. Is it killer whales? Yes. But also wolves of the sea. So this is actually my second favorite animal. So you have wolves, then you have orcas. And... Yeah, I love them a lot. Like, I dream so many times to be actually in Save. Um, do you say Save Willy in English? I think it is <laughs> with Keiko, the orcas. Yes. I wish, like, one of my dreams actually to go. Um, I think you, I don't know where you can see them actually, but I know North Canada you can see them. Like, if you are. Uh, or around Vancouver or on the other side like on Newfoundland or whatever and north you can see the kill whales like the orcas so when they will go there and today the theme was actually radio I had no idea I didn't want to draw just a radio a vintage radio whatever so I drew something like on my old radio I had like tapes I could put them on I could whatever so I drew this so I did a penguin with antennas and a tape uh, where its eyes should be, <laughs> whatever. So that's what I drew. Um, yeah, I don't know what the prompt is for tomorrow. I will check that tomorrow because I, I just want to see the word, have the idea, and not think of it for hours and just drew. 
and just draw let's just draw yeah but never mind uh that's what i did so let me know which one was your favorite uh but yeah i'm trying different styles because the wolf is not something i usually do because i'm never satisfied when uh drawing walls and especially like the flames or whatever it's not something i usually draw um i'm still figuring out how to do my shades do i do shades with like texture or do i do shades with like colors different colors you know what i mean so i'm trying to figure out my style because i still don't know what my style is but i feel like maybe after drawing like every single day for the entire month of october i will be one step further in that process and knowing a bit more about my drawing style <laughs> if that makes any sense but yeah nothing much wolves uh nothing exciting here um yeah let me know how you're doing wolves um if you don't want to talk because you don't feel like talking just leave me an emoji down below your favorite emoji the ugliest emoji the weirdest emoji i would like to find the weirdest emoji i don't know which one would be mine because they're not that weird but sometimes like the smiley faces with the eyes and the mouth and half <laughs> and whatever i never know what's the expression like the simple one yeah but the more weird it goes the more weird it goes whatever <laughs> but yeah i think that's it wolves i'm gonna take a shower go to bed because it's another week at work <sighs> nothing much wolves like really really i wish i had something else to tell you i'm looking in the room but i have honestly nothing to tell you um yeah but well, uh, leave me an emoji down below. Uh, hope you're good. I'm sending you all the good vibes from the universe, the cosmos, the other dimensions, whatever. I'm sending you all the good vibes. Vibes? Vibes. But yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves. Bye.